In June 2007, Kelsey Smith was kidnapped, assaulted, and murdered, and Edwin Hall was identified as the unknown man following her. He was declared a suspect in the case after authorities viewed surveillance footage from the target outlet the victim was taken from. He was eventually linked to the crime using a thumbprint found in the Smith's car. 18-year-old Kelsey Smith failed to return home after she went to buy her boyfriend John Beersmith a gift for their six-month anniversary on the evening of June 2nd. Her abandoned car was located that same night and her body was found a couple of days later using her phone records. Officials reported that she had been s asterisk zooly assaulted and strangled to death. Kansas, Kelsey. A search for Kelsey Smithy was initiated when she failed to answer calls or respond to texts and wasn't found at the target near her Overland Park, Kansas, home. Her boyfriend and her sister Lindsay began looking for her and located her abandoned car in the parking lot of a mall across from Target Point four days after she was kidnapped. Detectives got their hands on surveillance footage from the store. They then used an image of the suspect from the video and asked individuals with information about him to come forward. This was when a tipster identified the man as 26-year-old Edwin Hall. Detectives reviewed the video multiple times and reported that the victim was being followed by Edwin, who then forced Kelsey into her car. After identifying Edwin as the suspect, detectives used Kelsey's phone records to trace her whereabouts. As per Kansas City Star, her phone last pinged in a wooded area called Longview Lake where authorities found her naked body with a nylon belt around her neck. A subsequent examination confirmed that she had been s asterisk zooly assaulted and officials declared the official cause of death as strangulation. Edwin then admitted that he was at the Target outlet that evening and was linked to the killing using a thumbprint extracted from the driver's seat belt buckle in Kelsey's car. Moreover, a waitress came forward alleging that he once harassed her and slipped out without paying the bill.